Fanatics Fest is the real deal experience. Oh my God, Jake Paul, the kids love him. And then you have the legend, Mike Tyson. I got Jake Paul knocking him out. I love Mike Tyson. He's got And we've had an exit on El Hebb, but I heard Jake Paul seems pretty relaxed. Okay, because yeah. I'm like, well, you can't run it. I know what anyone. After months of endless hype, jaw dropping face offs, and countless social media back and forth, the impossible just happened. Jake Paul and Mike Tyson, it all went down at the legendary at NT Arena in Arlington, Texas. And trust me, it was everything we hoped for Jake Paul was holding his own until Tyson's iconic power came out of nowhere in round six. When the bell rang, the entire stadium erupted with excitement. Jake Paul came out looking confident, stepping into the center of the ring, as if he had no fear of the man standing across from him. Iron Mike Tyson, Tyson on the other hand, stayed cool and collective. His years of experience showed in his calm, almost methodical stance. Jake started the round with quick jabs using his height and reach to keep Tyson at bay. You could see that Paul had been training hard for this moment. He was bouncing on his feet, working his ankles, and staying light on his toes. But Tyson wasn't just going to sit back. He slowly began closing the distance inch by inch, trying to get inside Jake's range. By the middle of the round, you could feel the tension build. Jake landed a few solid shots, but nothing that phased Tyson. Toward the end of the round, Tyson unleashed a quick combination to the body, and the crowd went wild. Jake did a good job of staying composed, but you could tell he was feeling Tyson's power early on the round, ended with both fighters still standing, but the intensity had already skyrocketed in round two. Jake came out with a little more aggression. It was clear he knew he had to make his mark early if he wanted to stand a chance. He started using his jab more effectively, keeping Tyson at a distance, and even landing a solid overhand right that got the crowd on their feet. Tyson, though, was far from intimidated. The veteran took a more strategic approach, slipping some of Jake's punches, and working his way inside, he threw a few more hooks to the body, clearly trying to wear Jake down and sap his energy. Jake's defense was impressive in the early minutes, managing to avoid getting caught with anything too damaging. But as the round progressed, Tyson's relentless pressure began to show his ability to cut off the ring and corner Jake was a master. Class in boxing IQ, Jake managed to stay on the move, but you could see him breathing a little heavier. As the round came to a close, Tyson's punches were starting to take their toll, and even though Jake was still fighting smart, the tide seemed to be slowly shifting. In Mike's favor, as round three began, Jake Paul seemed to understand the situation. He couldn't afford to let Tyson dictate the pace. He, he started throwing more combinations, trying to overwhelm Tyson with speed and volume. And for a while it worked. Jake landed some solid shots, including a sharp right cross that definitely got Tyson's attention. But Mike is no stranger to pressure. The heavyweight legend started walking Jake down, absorbing some of the lighter punches and countering with thunderous hooks to the body midway through the round. Tyson caught Jake with a brutal left hook to the ribs that clearly rattled him. You could see Jake wins for a split second before trying to shake it off. Tyson's timing was impeccable. Every time Jake tried to reset and fire off combinations, Mike would slip inside and deliver a crushing body shot or an overhand right that had the crowd roaring. Jake was doing his best to stay in the fight. But it was clear that Tyson's relentless pace and punishing power were starting to wear him down by the end of. Round three, Jake was still standing, but Tyson had definitely taken control. Round four kicked off, and Jake Paul was starting to show signs of fatigue. His footwork slowed just a bit, and Tyson, ever the predator, took full advantage. Tyson began to stop. Jake even more aggressively cutting off the ring and forcing him into uncomfortable positions. Jake, to his credit, didn't back down. He kept throwing punches, but they lacked the same pop as before. Tyson, meanwhile, was waiting for his moment, bobbing and weaving like a man half his age slipping past Jake's jabs and getting in close to land his signature power shots around the two minute. Mark Tyson rocked Jake with a powerful uppercut that sent shockwaves through the arena.
Jake stumbled, but stayed on his feet, showing resilience the crowd was on their feet, sensing that knockout could be coming soon. By the end of the round, Jake was in survival mode, clinching Tyson more frequently, to avoid getting hit with another monster punch you could see it on Jake's face. He was realizing just how dangerous Mike Tyson still is even at this stage in. His career round 5 began, and Jake Paul looked like he was on borrowed time, his energy levels had clearly dipped, and Tyson was still coming forward with that menacing intensity. The younger Paul brother tried to keep Tyson at bay with jabs and occasional flurries, but Tyson wasn't having it. He knew the end was near midway through. The round, Tyson launched a vicious salt. He pinned Jake against the ropes and unleashed a combination that had the entire arena gasping. Jake covered up and absorbed most of the punches, but he couldn't avoid everything. A brutal hook to the body sent Jake reeling, and Tyson followed it. Up with a lightning-fast right hand to the temple, somehow Jake stayed standing, but it was clear he was running out of steam. Tyson continued pressing landing short hooks and uppercuts on the inside. Jake was hanging on, but barely his strategy had shifted from trying to win to just surviving. As the round came to a close, Jake was looking worse for wear, but he managed to make it to the bell. The crowd knew it was only a matter of time before Tyson's power would prove too much. Then came round six, and this is where the fight ended. Tyson came out with a laser focus, knowing he had Jake on the ropes. Jake, looking exhausted, tried to muster whatever strength he had left to fend off the heavyweight legend he threw. A few wild punches, but Tyson easily dodged them. Keeping his eyes locked on his target, about a minute into the round, Tyson saw his opening. Jake let his guard drop for just a split second. And that's all it took. Tyson unleashed a de-devastating right hook that crashed into Jake's jaw, sending him down to the canvas. The arena exploded. Jake tried to get up, but his legs just wouldn't cooperate. The ref started the count, and although Jake made it to his knees, he couldn't beat the 10 count. Mike Tyson had knocked Jake Paul. Out Cole, the fight was over and Tyson had proven once again that his power is timeless. Even at 58, he still had the ability to take down a fighter in his prime. Jake Paul had put up a good fight, but in the end there was just no. Stopping Iron Mike as the medical staff rushed in to check on Jake Tyson stood in the center of the ring, his arm raised in victory. The fans were on their feet, chanting his name as the legend of Mike Tyson grew even larger. Now let's talk about the aftermath because this fight set the internet on fire. The reactions to Mike Tyson's epic knockout of Jake Paul were absolutely wild fans, celebrities, and even other fighters could not stop talking about. It I mean Twitter and Instagram were flooded with memes hashtags and hot takes right after the fight. The hashtag do Jake Paul K started trending worldwide along with DSH Iron Mike Forever because Tyson once again proved why he's the GOAT. Let's talk fan reactions now boxing. Fans were all like father time doesn't exist for Mike and Jake. Paul officially entered the shadow realm, and trust me, the memes were on another level. People were comparing Jake's fall to everything from cartoon knockouts to actual video game deaths. And of course, Jake Paul's haters had a field day, they've been waiting for this moment, and boy did they take it and run celebrities also jumped in with their reactions, and they were just a savage Drake who has been pretty vocal. About Jake Paul's rise tweeted something like, never bet against a legend. Then you had people like Snoop Dogg posting a clip of Tyson's knockout with a caption, lights out young blood, even Shaquille O'Neal chimed in saying Mike Tyson still got that dog in him. Well, there you have. It fight world, that's all I have for you today. What was your reaction to the knockout? Did you see it coming? Or were you just as shocked as everyone else? Drop a comment and let us know. Make sure you subscribe to Boxing World, and I'll see you next time.